Now, will the proposed regulation make hedge funds more transparent or will it just drive them away? Well, joining me to assess the EU crackdown is a passionate opponent of the move, Philippe Bonafoy. He is chairman of Cedar Partners, a hedge fund group with uh, $650 million in investments. Good morning. Thank Good morning. you very much for joining us this morning. First of all, let's tackle this question about hedge funds causing the credit crunch because there does seem to be an awful lot of politics going on around this issue. You would obviously suggest that they were not speculators and did not cause the credit Well, crunch. actually, they were the other side mm -hmm. of the whole crisis. Typically, hedge funds came and bought a lot of the instruments the banks packaged and sold. So the primary cause of, of, the, hedge, of the credit crunch was banks being over leveraged and then actually on their own balance sheet having a lot of illiquid assets that they had to mark down, mm -hmm. causing a wipeout of the equity. Mm -hmm. So this move that, uh, that politicians are saying will actually create a lot more transparency within the industry, is it A, necessary, and B, will this work? Well, the starting point is almost all the hedge funds we're talking about, certainly in, in Europe, where 80% of the hedge funds are in London, are already fully regulated by the FSA, who does a spectacular job as a global regulator of regulating the industry already. So there hasn't been a huge systemic failure of a hedge fund, there hasn't been a taxpayer bailout of a hedge fund, there hasn't been basically any problems created by hedge funds in this crisis. So ultimately, it's regulation upon regulation that's completely unnecessary. And some of the regulatory issues that, uh, that the politicians want to put upon the hedge funds, um, some things like tax transparency, uh, are areas where countries in the EU don't even pass the rules. Right. Now, they're talking about creating a level playing field here. What about this is not level at the moment? Well, starting point is leverage, as an example. Now, there's a lot of discussion about stopping speculative activity and leverage. Mm -hmm. Most banks in Europe are 30 to 40 times leveraged as normal. Now, I don't know a single hedge fund that's, that's the high leverage. Some banks that are, that are government partly owned in Europe mm -hmm. are 95 times leveraged. Now, that's ridiculous. That means 1% of equity um, can be wiped out with just a small markdown. Now, no, hedge funds aren't in that same, same ballpark. If hedge funds are being targeted unfairly, as it were, mm. um, it also appears that the UK, uh, with 80% of the hedge mm. funds, is not very much in control of what happens. I mean, it's going to be a Germ Germany and France can push through this legislation. So far from the first ruling we've had, um, the UK has lost. So it's now up to, to the UK authorities and George Osborne is, is kind of the spearhead of that effort to begin fighting for an industry that's very, very important to the UK. The city, obviously, massively important for the UK economy uh, and the high margin businesses, both not just the hedge funds, but lawyers, accountants, fund administrators, mm. all rely on the hedge funds being based in the UK. So it's potentially devastating. Now he's got a lot on his plate. Uh, do you think this is going to be high up his agenda? I think it's on the agenda. You know, there's a lot of domestic issues that need to be handled. So the question is how fast can he get a team of people working on it and begin working in Brussels to begin to articulate the position a bit better? And what can he do, do you think? To well, I think the, the, fir the first part is to articulate what really they mean by level playing field. What does the UK, what does the, the regulation want to achieve? If it's information, most of the information they want actually sits already inside the banks. The banks are the ones providing leverage to hedge funds. So position level transparency, leverage, all exists within regulated institutions. That knowledge is very easily passed to regulators. Okay, Philippe, come back and talk to us again when we know a little Good bit to more see you. about it. Thank Thanks. you very much indeed.